We're starting to see this trend in Florida that uh, gun permits and sales are dropping. Uh, what have you seen at your business here? I Well, A, because it's the summertime, it's slower to begin with. The slowest times are primarily August and September for retail, always. So I think the business has been hot and cold. I don't think that you can generally say it's been slow. Now, that being said, it is slower than when there was a sense of urgency in the, on the political environment. So when we had a Democrat in office, Obama, our last president, there was a sense of urgency in firearms because they, A, gen generalized speaking, they wanted to take away long guns or assault rifles, high capacity um, rifles and handguns. So there was a sense of urgency for individuals to buy assault rifles ammunition for assault rifles, and magazines for assault rifles. So within the political environment, it got really crazy over the Obama administration. Now, fast forward to where we are now, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. So the fear was that Hillary Clinton, or a Democrat, got into office. The fear was, okay, we're gonna take away your assault rifles. We're gonna take away your guns. But really it was this ban on assault rifles. That was the, always the big talk. So yes, there was some sense of urgency in buying. Now when Trump got into business, I saw a big glut of inventory. It, it, was, it was totally off the wall crazy when, during the Obama, Obama administration and, and right at election time when people thought that Hillary Clinton was gonna be president. I would say the business has slowed down, but it's not slow, it's steady. A lot of individuals have moved to South Florida and our gun laws here um, are good. That's why we're called the Gunshine State versus a New York State city, California. Our laws here permit you to buy a firearm um, with a concealed weapons license. You can leave with it that day with an approval and a background check. And without a concealed weapons license, you have to wait five business days. So people enjoy guns not only for the sport of shooting them at the range, but now you got to look at the environment that we're in um, as far as ter terrorist activity in, out there. So people want to protect themselves and their family, whether in their homes or in public. So that's why I think that the, the, there's always an elevated threat of um, terrorist attacks going on, as we've seen all over the world. It's not just here. So the good news here, we're not in Europe, so we can buy firearms and we can protect ourselves in the street. If something goes down in the street in South Florida, I, I'm pretty confident that a lot of civilians will, you know, maybe neutralize that threat.